Hey, welcome to Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make an applewood smoked bacon and egg pie, and we're going to do it in the Dutch oven. Y'all stay tuned. <music> So I'm going to give credit uh, for this recipe over to the Barbecue Pit Boys. Watch them do a version of this uh, here a little while back. Uh, they did theirs totally in the Weber Kettle Grill, of course. You know, that's their thing. Uh, we're going to adapt it to do it uh, partially in the, door, in the Weber Kettle Grill, and then we're going to finish it off in a number 10 shallow Dutch oven. Here's going to be what you're going to need to make this dish. Okay, pretty basic ingredients. You're going to have this most time when you go camping. I know I always do. It's a pound of bacon. We got some Everglades rub. I got some Seminole Swamp seasoning. There's a little Parmigiana Reggiana right there. Some Colby back, uh, Jack cheese already shredded. Good old plain potato chips uh, and uh, fresh eggs. That's it. A little bit of oil. I'm going to use a little bit of this Corona de Chez uh, barbecue grill oil. I'm just going to spray those. It's got a pump spray. Very nice. Works real good too. This grill's been well used, so you get a little bit rusty sometimes. All right, guys, I'm going to start out with um, <clears throat> just laying this whole pound of bacon right in here for now. And let it start warming up, and then it'll be easier to separate the strips. And we're using applewood charcoal from uh, Kingsford today. And it burns pretty hot, so I had to choke off this top vent here about halfway to get it down to about 250. So as this warms up, I'm going to start separating it. I'm going to start shaking on some uh, Everglades rub on there. Give it a little sweetness and a great flavor also. We'll separate a little bit at a time. Guys, we uh, put some <clears throat> some applewood chips on there also. Got a little smoke going on there now. Ooh, it's looking good. Now I'll try to start uh, kind of separating these. Now we're only looking for a, like a three-quarter cooked bacon here. We're not going for, we're not going fully cooked, all right? So I'm gonna kind of separate them a little bit at a time. I keep, keep them uh, indirect. It doesn't matter whether or not, you know, you got them down to individual slices. We're just looking to get that smokiness on it. And we're looking for that three quarter of the way cooked and it's gonna be a little tricky handling these, especially when they're down to single strips. But as we open them up, we're also gonna add a little more of that Everglades rub. I'm gonna go get that. Okay, we've been uh, separating the bacon. When it gets about like that, we're looking for about three quarters of the way done, okay? You can tell when it starts shrinking up, starts getting translucent, start to be able to see through it a little bit, like that. That one might need a few more minutes, but others, we'll take them off as they start to get where you can see through them. Again, we're only looking for three quarters of the way cooked here because they're gonna get cooked again in the Dutch oven. Like that one there, beautiful what I'm looking for and as you keep separating your pieces just keep putting a more rub on there so one thing we're going to add to ours that the barbecue pit boys didn't use was uh, smoked sausage so we got him on there and I just happen to have this piece left over just letting it warm through give him some nice smokiness on it even more than it already has we'll be ready to put this dish together 
All right, so it's time to assemble. I'm gonna bring out a piece of bacon and my, my sausage right here. It's a tough time of the day to film uh, with the differences in the light. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I want to make my sausage slices the same width as my bacon. So I'll bring one piece out to use as kind of a gauge. And we'll use the same one to cut them all. Oh, well, we can't use that one. It's too small. Oh, chef's choice. Alright guys, so here's the point in time where you better pray your seasoning's good in your Dutch oven because we're going to crack a bunch of fresh eggs. And I see a bunch, I mean about 8 or 10, this is a 10 inch Dutch oven, it's probably going to be 10. And we're going to put them in between all these little beautiful bacon towers and all the gaps so that's a dozen or more eggs right there we're going to go ahead put our favorite egg seasoning on there that's the Seminole Swamp fire in the swamp this is awesome on eggs believe me if you want to try to find that uh, the only place you're going to buy it's online Gonna leave you the link right down there in the description box. Let's go ahead and put the lid on. Let's we'll stack her up a good ring. We want to get to 350 at least. Here we want to go easy, but we don't want to go uh, too fast either. We'll scorch our eggs. So you know we. Uh, we use this method, uh, we don't even count them, you know. We just put the coals on around the rim. The smaller the Dutch oven, the fewer coals it's going to take. So, you know, you don't have to do any math, you know. I know a lot of you guys are not good at it. I am. I'm pretty good at it, but, you know, some guys are not. So if you just put your uh, coals around the side, all touching each other, that's going to be a perfect amount of coals to get 35375. Now if you want to bump it up a little bit and we're going to, we're going to put one or two on the top. All right, and we got guys standing by over here to come on later if we need them. Mm. Oh. Okay, yep. Yeah. You caught me eating the topping. Regular old plain potato chips. All right, so eggs and bacon are cooking. We're gonna make our topping now. And uh, this is just plain potato chips. I seen you munching on those earlier. I was gonna put them out in another cast iron skillet. I'm gonna crush them. All right. You can fluff them up, crush them again. Oh, man, they're getting out. Can use the side. I don't want them, you know, crushed up powder. I want them to still have some, a little bit of chunk and crunch to them. 
So we just use these two pans and we'll work them down until they're eh, they're all crushed. Pretty okay. I got them to crush down pretty good. If you got any leftover big ones, just smush them in your fingers. Like I said we're not looking for powder here. We're looking for you know something like that. Right now, go ahead and go in there with about two cups shredded cheese. This is going to be Colby Jack. Use your favorite. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that Everglades rub just to give it a little extra kick. I'm going to go ahead and toss that up real good right in the iron skillet there. And then this is getting ready to go on top for eggs and bacon and sausage cooking over there in the Dutch oven. Looks great. Hey, smell my Dutch oven. And check out our t-shirts right there on the Teespring merch shelf right below the video. Been about 10 minutes on the eggs since I put the eggs in. And they're starting to starting to firm up there looks like they're even uh, luckily releasing from the sides here a bit just kind of keep an eye on that all right so let's go ahead and put on our topping and that's our potato chips and cheese all right it's gonna be great this is what's gonna make it a pie basically it's gonna form a crust Right on the top. All right. That looks awesome. Go ahead, put our lid back on. Getting pretty close. I actually made this parsley to mix into that topping, but since I didn't do it, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some over there now. So I just brought in another uh, inside ring of coals. In about 10 minutes it's starting to get browned cheese is starting to melt just want to get a little bit more even heat there all right so this is looking almost done what we're gonna do is get a final little sprinkle of some colby jack kind of seal everything in About two minutes. We'll be ready. Let's give it a try. You know, I'm gonna go in there for another bite of that. One thing we could have probably done to make that better was just go ahead and put that topping on it. You know, after about five minutes, I thought those eggs would take a lot longer to cook than they actually did. I love them be a little bit runnier, you know, when we cut into it, but it's delicious. So try this out. You know, it might take a little, a little uh, practice. Pretty daggum good though. <music> So 
thanks for watching Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there. To subscribe to our channel, you can do it right here to see another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right up there. And for a whole playlist, cast iron Dutch oven cooking, it'll be right up there. We'll see you next time.